Hey kids, it's ARP. This is the ARP cast, somewhat live from the foothills of the Great Smoky Mountains in eastern Tennessee. Today we talk about different things, weird people, and maybe unicorns and rainbows. We read poetry and short stories too. Most of all, we keep it real. This is the ARP cast, starting now. Welcome to the big program, ARPcast number 28, December 18, 2017. It's Monday night. That can only mean one thing. No, not Monday night football. That's Movie Mondays, but we'll get to that in a second. So it's a week, a week before the big day, Christmas Day, planning, a lot of running around, a lot of just craziness. Uh... I'd love for you to take a listen to the to the Christmas rant uh, program. I believe it was uh, last Wednesday. I got my rant on, so have a listen at that. But, you know, anyway, I'm not going to say too much about it. Enjoy the big day. We're going to do two more programs, and we're going to do a special Christmas Day program. That's right, kids. We're coming to you Christmas Day, working for you. So... Doing a little bit of a different Movie Monday this week. Uh, it's not really a movie. It's not a movie at all. Look, I'm a big fan of British comedy, British drama, Britcoms, Brit drama. I love it. Absolutely love it. So, The, the Crown, a Netflix original series, was an easy, easy transition for me. Uh, someone had posted some positive comments about it on on Facebook, and my brother, all over it, loves it. He says, you got to listen. So tonight's review, Movie Mondays, is The Crown, Season 1. Again, as I said, natural progression, The King's Speech, which was uh, somewhat, a, a, not a complete life story, but about the... The ascension of uh, George the Sixth to the crown, uh, to the to the seat, to the chair, after his brother Edward, commonly known as David, uh, abdicated, and so you know George is thrust into this role at the height of everything that could go wrong in the world going wrong. Great movie, check it out. Colin Firth, Helena Bonham Carter. Uh, Jeffrey Rush, great movie. Do check it out. But that's not what we're talking about. Tonight we're talking about The Crown. So, what do we, you know, features, philosophy, and the ALF. That's our format. Straightforward. Great cast. Oh my gosh. Great cast. Fantastic cast. You know, you could, just for me, you could throw anybody up there, and if John Oliver ever listens to this, he's going to be horribly offended, but you could throw anybody up on a stage with that accent, and I would be all over it. Great cast, but no, really, outside the accent, terrific cast. Claire Foy, Foy, sorry, Claire Foy, Matt Smith, uh, former Doctor Who, uh, number 11, I believe, fantastic job. Both, not in their speaking and their presentation, but the way they look and the way they carry themselves. Tremendous effort on the uh, on the part of the cast, as well as the production team. John Lithgow, Sir Winston Churchill. Winston, um, you, know, you know, where the other two are, are handsome and, and dynamic. Uh, Winston, uh, not so handsome, but equally dynamic. And, and Mr. Lithgow brings... Tremendous depth to this man, uh, both in terms of his mannerisms and his voice, the way he carries himself, and the way you you sense and feel that this guy had a lot of power. Tremendous power, but had a tremendous level of respect for the crown. So, uh, and then just a slight note, uh, Jared Harris, uh, which probably nobody knows, uh, but Jared... Harris is uh, the son of Richard Harris, the Irish actor, who was uh, Albus Dumbledore number one. So, first two movies in the Potter series, Richard Harris. He's done a lot of things, obviously, in the past. Great Irish actor, Jared Harris, plays George VI. 
Elizabeth's father, commonly known as Bertie, for those of you that are keeping notes and keeping track at home. So, features, season one, a tremendous, tremendous story capturing from uh, the time that Elizabeth is married, uh, basically up until after her father's death and, and the timing of when, when Churchill starts to exit. And then there's the Suez crisis and so forth in season two. Tremendous dynamics. The story is well told. Again, I haven't checked all the facts uh, of what's gone, uh, you know, in reality versus versus uh, Hollywood and, and uh, Pinewood Studios and where they make things in Britain. But tremendous story captured uh, very ably uh, through great dialogue. Uh, and again, the accents. I mean, just, you know... Turn me off, put me to bed, rock me to sleep, I'm out. Uh, so, great setting, uh, although they weren't obviously able to use Buckingham Palace the, uh, or, or Sandringham or, or some of these other uh, places that the, the royals obviously uh, call home from various seasons. They do a great job of, of capturing the essence of place, philosophy. Look, many of you listening may have one thing or another and don't care about the British crown. I don't really care either. I think it's good drama. Uh, I think it's, it's good acting. This woman's sense, again, the story of Elizabeth II from her marriage uh, up until present over six seasons, ten episodes a season I think is what it's calling for. We're talking about season number one. Duty first. The way Elizabeth Lilibet is portrayed, everything is about duty. She's thrust into the cockpit at a very tender age, 25 or thereabouts, married around 20, 21. 25, she's the Queen of England. Her father dies while she's on a, a tour, royal tour of Africa. Her father dies. Cancer. Has already had his lung cut out, dies thrombosis in his sleep. She's called back from Kenya, doesn't get to see her father. He's dead, he's gone. She's now the Queen of England. Mayhem ens ensues. It's crazy, right? She's got to go through uh, the coronation. She's obviously got to bury her father. But she's thrust in the cockpit of everything, the monarchy, country, family, and matrimony. And much of the story centers around her relationship with Philip, uh, Duke of Edinburgh, played by Matt Smith. Let's get to the ALF. ARP's likability factor, for those of you that have not heard that before. Love, like, meh. Dislike and loathe. I love the crown. I absolutely adore Claire Foy, uh, Matt Smith, Mr. Lithgow, the, the two other gentlemen, fine gentlemen that play uh, in season two. I uh, won't get too much into that. But all the characters you immediately like. You immediately want to gravitate, understand, empathize with everything they're going for, in the, or going, uh, working towards, rather, in the name of the crown. Absolutely love it. I, nothing, really nothing more to say after that. I think you should watch it. I think you should get Netflix if you don't have it. I know it's nine or ten bucks in a month. But do watch this. It's a piece of history. It's a piece of good drama. I think you'll enjoy it. That's Movie Monday. ARPcast number 28, December 18, 2017. Thank you so very much for listening. Well, kids... You know who this is. It's ARP, damn it. You have been listening to the ARP cast, a sensational, fact filled experience meant to change the world. I'm happy you stopped by. Our sponsors, those greedy, wily bastards, thank you too. Make sure to write this has been the ARP cast. I'm out.